controller. Uh, it goes in the back of the trunk where the uh, stock controller is, plug and play. Um, you can, there's a bunch of pre can tunes from DSC on here, and then they can make edits just on the computer. It's pretty cool, you should check them out. Um, they're in the details below. If you have any questions, uh, just feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to be testing this out both in street driving as well as on the track in an autocross. So it should be pretty cool. It should be a really good in-depth review uh, to, so you can determine if this is the right fit for you or if you're going to do some other sort of suspension work to your uh, Shelby. So one of the first things you have to do is pull off the interior of the trunk. You can see in there, if we get in, way in there, some light, the stock controller is in there. Bracket is here, the controller mounted right there. So just connected the uh, DSC Sport Controller and it was actually easier than I thought I was pulling for a while and then I realized that this top, when you just lift this up, it disconnects. So that was a lot easier than I thought and I was fighting with it for a few minutes before I realized that. So it's actually more simple than you think. And then here are the two controllers. So we've got the DSC and the stock. Uh, I'm going to disconnect this and um, connect this bracket to that and put it back in. Alright, so we drilled out the rivets, we bolted in the DSC to the uh, original bracket, and there's one thing you gotta do a little bit of silicone spray on the pins, and then hold, uh, push this together, and when you lock it in, just make sure you hold it in the first time it goes in, it's a little bit tight, so it locks in properly. 